Gluten intolerant symptoms. How do you know if gluten is making you sick? Research shows that gluten sensitive in some form, including celiac disease and mild gluten intolerance, affects approximately 15% of the US population. These statistics are likely to be similar in Western countries with similar health issues and dietary patterns. So, what are the specific symptoms of gluten intolerance and celiac disease? Weight loss or weight gain. Nutritional deficiencies due to malabsorption, for example, low iron levels. Gastrointestinal problems bloating, pain, gas, constipation, diarrhea, fat in the stools due to poor digestion, aching joints, depression, eczema, headaches, exhaustion, irritability and behavioral changes, infertility, irregular menstrual cycle and miscarriage, cramps, tingling and numbness, slow infant and child growth, Declining dental health. Undiagnosed for long periods of time, food intolerances have been found to contribute to diabetes, bowel cancer, anemia and osteoporosis. Why are gluten intolerant symptoms so varied? It is still a bit of a mystery. Gluten intolerance and allergies affect adults and children in a variety of ways but we do know that the less stress, the better. Anecdotal evidence suggests emotional trauma and stress play a large role in worsening of symptoms. Some studies have shown that there is a lower chance of developing celiac disease. The longer a baby is breastfed, the later they started eating gluten-containing food and the less gluten-containing food that they ate. Although some people outgrow certain food allergies over time, like milk, egg, soy and wheat allergies, peanut and tree nut allergies are lifelong in most people. However, completely avoiding gluten through pregnancy and in a child's younger years may also increase allergic reaction, as the developing digestive system does not recognize the substance at all. Perhaps a moderate approach is best when preventing celiac disease, especially if there is a genetic predisposition. Mother might reduce but not eliminate gluten foods when pregnant, breastfeed for a longer than average period, and introduce low gluten grains as first foods for a baby.